Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're back at the garage. I'm here, my brother. What's going on? Channel like villains. So today we're actually wrapping as much of the car as possible in the E36 M3. But right now we're actually gonna be driving over my brother's car. I mean, not my brother's car. Sears car down to uh, there's a BMW shop. They're gonna go ahead and do a diagnostic and see what's up with the 30 FF code. Why there's a boost leak. So let's go and drop that off. Come back and get straight to work on the M3. All right, so my brother's gonna take my car. I'm gonna go ahead and take Sears car. So let's go ahead and get this thing diagnosed. Guys, oh my god, it looks so good. I've never seen anybody else drive my car. Oh, that lip though. But damn, that looks fire. Anywho, let's go ahead and pull it around and get to that uh, that shop over there. Oof, barely. All right guys, just dropped off Sears car at BMP. Let's head out. So we are back for BMP. I do want to show you guys a few mods. I've actually gotten for the 435 and a few other things for the E36 M3. So I actually got a lot of packages here. Basically a bunch of mods. Let me show you guys what we got. So our first package is an OEM car charger. So it's not OEM, actually it's from China, clearly. But uh, check this out, guys. I, I really wanted to always do this retrofit. It has the harness and everything in there. And uh, basically this, this is a wireless charging pad that like a direct plug and play into a 435, which is really nice. So I can actually wirelessly charge my phone in the car. So that's gonna be super sick. I cannot wait to do that install. So we'll do that hopefully in an upcoming video. Next mod, LED turn signal light. What's that? I have no idea. <laughs> oh, yes. So you guys saw, these are sick, these are sick. These are smoked out. LED turn signals, and when you turn it, it kind of blinks like that. So these are slightly more tinted than these guys. These are kind of like super clear. I don't like it, especially with the carbon. Imagine it more tinted. That's gonna look sick. So we'll add this instead. And at the same time, when you use the turn signal, it kind of like it's kind of like a laser. So it looks super sick. So anyways, we're gonna do an install on that in the upcoming video as well. Oh, this one's sick. This one's sick. Ooh. So this is like some. It has LED lights all around the trim. So it's even gloss too. My I think mine's not even gloss. I'm not really too sure. But anywho, this is gloss, same time, all LEDs. This is gonna look sick. I don't have any ambient lighting, I don't think, in my car, so I'm gonna probably add some ambient lighting. Are these all mods? These are all mods for the 435. Oh, and this is from Nick. Shout out to my guy, Nick. So, uh, if you guys are wondering how to do a Bluetooth install, we're gonna be doing a custom Bluetooth retrofit, like an OEM retrofit to Sears car. So, uh, shout out to Nick, our coding guy. He's gonna be helping us with that, so future video on that. And I think I know what this last one is. Picked up some halos. These are super bright halos for the E36 M3. So we're gonna restore the headlights. We're gonna add some. E3, I mean, we're gonna add some halos. It should look super sick. So, so yeah, we got a lot of mods coming up, guys. Without further ado, let's back up the E36 M3. Start working on it. So uh, as you guys can see, we overstretched it. We didn't have enough wrap and it ripped. So what we're gonna go ahead and do it is make a seamless line. We'll show you guys that when we actually finish it, but let's just go ahead and finish the rest of the course. It looks right now it's really coming together so you have this whole side together um this car never came actually came with this piece but didn't have the you know pieces to actually put it together unfortunately so hopefully i didn't throw away that piece i'll have to look in there hopefully i still got it but if not i'll have to order one uh we still got the side skirts we have that little uh piece up here we still need to do look at look at the job guys like the tucking underneath the gaskets so we didn't even have to we didn't even pull this thing up so we're doing a kind of we're doing a pretty good job i don't see any white which is super nice so right here uh not really the best but i mean again it's not bad it's really good the hood is everything is assembled underneath we have the washers in hood latches and everything is in there so the hood's actually closed we have everything on this fender this door is complete this whole quarter panel is complete and the whole trunk is complete and reassembled i really want to see how everything looked all together so that looks sick i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this trim piece once we're back 
back. We're gonna go get something to eat. We're just gonna take a small little break, wrap this, and then put in the tail lights so the whole rear end, other than the bumper, is gonna be complete, which is gonna be sick. And yeah, we just got a, this little guy, side skirts, this guy, and this dude. I wanna get all that done today, so uh, we need a break. We need a break. The last time me and my brother wrapped a whole car in 24 hours, that was insane. So let's go get a break, come back, and continue this. We're just gonna head out and get something to eat. Are you starving? I'm starving, I want some tuna. Tuna, some tuna, some Subway. I might get a coffee, we'll see what we're gonna do. Let's just head out. Just got my coffee, you got your Subway? Got my Subway, I'm home ready. It's all ready to go, let's go back to the shop. All right guys, so we just got some stuff to, a little, little, little meal, and um, I think now we are ready to wrap a few more things. So I wanna go ahead and wrap this little back piece right there so you can put in the tail lights, even that guy, side skirts, the front A pillar, and then the front nose as well. So uh, we got a lot of work to do back in time lapse mode. Guys, we made some incredible progress today. It's looking so good, especially with this side has all the trim pieces there, which is super nice. So there's no more white from up here. There's still white right here, so I kinda wanna, I kinda wanna do this right now. Um, I kinda also wanna do that, so we can get the side portfolio pretty much done. And then uh, we have this, this piece down here, so I can put in the tail lights. This side is done also, looks insane. And then we just have this front little, uh, the nose. I feel like once you do this nose, it's gonna look so sick. So, I don't know. Uh, let's do this first, actually. Oh my, guys, look how good this came out. This came out so freaking nice. Oh my lord. Check that out, that looks so much better. That bar was really scratched up. So I basically made the seam line right there. You guys can't even see it because uh, there is actually a crack on every E46 right there. So that came out looking sick. Um, tail lights just have to go in now and the bumper, but oh my God, I'm actually thinking about getting new logos. Uh, maybe, I'm not thinking about the, the blue, I'm thinking about going black, like BMW black logos. I think it's like just making this car black and uh, Tiffany would be super sick, so I'm not gonna have any other colors on this car. I might even go with black plates, just to keep the theme black and Tiffany. Um, what do you guys think? Should I name the car Mint? Because we're gonna make it Mint? I think that's what's cool. My brother came up with the name. I think it's sick, right? I'm thinking now Mint Chip, because it's black and... Uh, oh, Mint Chip. Mint Chip, because it's black mint, and, uh, So now it has the last name? Yeah, Mint Chip. Mint Chip. I like Bro, it. Bro, we should get a social security number for this guy. Right? Right? Mint Chip. And we got copper sitting outside. That's sick. That's so sick. Mint chip and copper. Mint chip and copper. It's my two kids. All right, guys. My brother's still working on the bottom portion. I was doing the top, but uh, I think it's coming together pretty nice, considering that we couldn't get the top down. So I'm really happy with how it's coming out. Uh, brother just has to cut this little portion here, and then we are good to go. So that's super. Oh, I'm gonna tuck in a little bit over here. Other than that, pretty much everything done, but that eight pillar. Let's just get right into that. Finally, as you guys can see, we finished pretty much the entire car. Finish up the A pillar, we finish up this piece that I've been taking off the roof, which was like really hard, but we, may, we were able to manage, thank the Lord. Uh, quarter panel trunk, side skirts, door. We did pretty much everything today. So let me give you guys a 360 real quick. So it's looking really good. We, we already ordered some emblems. It's coming in the mail. This trim's all already put. Um, I think the other side too is just missing that front piece. But man, this is looking so good. 
I cannot wait to put in the tail lights and the bumpers once you actually wrap the bumpers. We have enough wrap. As you guys can see, we have more than enough wrap, which is insane. So that's it. You know, guys, I got all this wrap for 200 bucks. It was an overstock, 200 bucks. If you guys are wondering where I'm getting all my wrap from, I go to Metro Restyling. They have an overstock portion of their website. Just go on there, go ahead and just, just check what kind of overstock they have. I, I happened to check what kind of overstock they had and they had Tiffany. I was like, what? Tiffany? All right, you know, I love Tiffany. The brand is Hexus, but honestly, it is the easiest wrap to work with. Probably not probably not the best for long lasting, but it's the easiest wrap to work with. Down the road, I would want to paint this car because M3s are just worth painting. It's worth putting money into. But you know, guys, this looks insane. I cannot wait to put the halos, restore the headlights, put on the bumpers. This thing's gonna look absolutely insane. I can't wait to just refresh the windows, get the top down. I never had a convertible, swap it out with the manual, and who knows, you might even push some insane power turbo. Who, could, who knows, who knows? Let me know down below. Anywho, I love y'all so much. For those of you guys who wanna continue to see the build, make sure to smash that like button. For those of you guys who continue to support, shout out to you guys. Without further ado, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. See you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words, and I put them all together in cert, cause I wanna have words.